안녕히 주무셨어요. Today we are going to learn to construct sentences in Korean. In Korean, a marking particle is used to specify the part of speech of a word. Let's look at a couple of examples. 내가 너와 춤을 배우고 싶어요. 아이가 유와 댄스를 learn 고 want 어요. I want to to learn a dance with you. The second one, 그는 의사가 되고 싶어요. He 는 doctor 가 become 고 want 어요. He wants to become a doctor. Okay, let's look at uh, marking particles one by one. Subject marking particles are 이가 은는 and 은는 are known to be topic marking particles. In our examples, 가 in 내가 and 는 in 그는 are subject marking particles. Object marking particles are in our example, 을 in 춤을 is object marking particle. And the subject complement marking particles are 이가. In our example, 가 in 의사가 is a subject complement marking particle. And wa in no wa is a preposition meaning with. We use e n e when the previous syllable has a bottom consonant. Example, 그 소년은 곧 어른이 되어요. That boy in soon adult e become a yo. That boy will become an adult soon. The second example, 나는 한국말을 배워요. 아이는 Korean을 learn 어요. I learn Korean. We use 가, 는, 를 when the previous syllable has no bottom consonant. Example, 이 소녀는 가수가 되고 싶어요. This girl는 singer 가 become 고 want 어요. This girl wants to become a singer. Another example. 너는 나를 몰라요. You는 me를 not know 아요. You don't know me. As for the subject marking particles or topic marking particles, 이가 or 은는, how does one decide which one to use? Uh, I will cover this topic in depth in another lesson. Okay, let's look at the verb class endings in the previous examples. First, 내가 너와 춤을 배우고 싶어요. 싶어요 means want. The verb root of want is 싶다. So we drop 다 and add 어요. 어 is a simple indicative class ending. So 싶 drop da ship po yo the second one ku so nyanun got arani teo yo teo yo means become and the uh, verb root of a become is twe da so we drop ta and add o yo twe o yo uh we can also say twe yo instead of twe o yo twe yo the last one, 나는 한국말을 배워요. 
Pewoyo means learn. The verb root of learn is pe wu da. So we drop da again and then add oyo. Pe wu oyo. Pe wu oyo, pe oyo. Okay, let's look at the marking particle go, which links verbs. Nega, no wa chumul, pe wu go, si poyo. Pe wu go means to learn. The verb root of learn is beuda. So we drop da again and then add go. Beugo. And the second one, kunen uzaga dwego shipoyo. Dwego means to become. Uh, again, the verb root of become is dweda. We drop da and then add go. Dwego. So, go, in this case, links two verbs. For example, 되고 싶어요, it links 되다 and 싶다. 되고 싶다, 되고 싶어요. Uh, it is like a two in English. One, to learn. One, to become. There are several linking particles like go in Korean, but this topic won't be covered today. Let me talk about yo. By adding yo at the end of a verb, we make a sentence formal. Let's compare. 내가 나와 춤을 배우고 싶어. You say this way with your friend or with the, a younger person. By adding yo at the end of a verb, 내가 너와 춤을 배우고 싶어요. You say this way with a stranger or with an older person. In a formal sentence, usually the first and the second person pronouns 나, 너 become 저, 제, 당신. There are several ways to make a sentence formal. Again, uh, I will cover this some other time. Okay, that will be all for today. In the next lesson, we will learn the uh, positions of words in a sentence. 행운을 빌어요.